Hey everybody, Scott here. In this Plotograph video, we're gonna do some intermediate things with the UI and do uh, a little more intricate work with the motion that we have. So uh, we have this photo here, I've got of a lighthouse and I've done the basics already. So I've done the masking. If you haven't watched the first video, the beginner workflow, go ahead and check that out. It covers the basics of masking. And what we're gonna do now is add some motion into the sky. And what uh, will be a little different here is a couple of things that we'll do to speed up our workflow, as well as paying attention to what we really want to have happen in the scene. So we have the sky and you know the, the clouds that are closer to the viewer are gonna move faster, and the ones that are farther off in the distance are gonna move slower. So let's start by getting down to our animation points here. And I'm gonna hover here for just a bit. You see those add points? and the, the V short key, I'm gonna be using that quite a bit as we go along here. Now, the first thing I'm looking at the top part, I have uh, clouds I wanna have move fast. Those are closer to me. Now I'm just clicking a few points here. I'm not drawing animation lines yet. Let's say maybe these guys here, about like that, okay? Now I'm gonna use the selection tool right here. A is the, the keyboard shortcut for that. And I'm gonna drag a box around all of these dots and now I can move them all at the same time. So I want to have these clouds kind of zoom along this way. All right. I'm going to do the same thing in the mid-ground. V key, I'm using the shortcuts now, and we'll just draw some dots all the way through here. All right. And A, I'm going to select that one and delete it because I don't need any motion behind the lighthouse. We'll select all those and have those move a little bit more slowly. There are shorter lines are slower animations, longer lines are faster animations. And we'll do one more round of that in the background. And I'll just place a few points here. A key to go back to the select tool and something a little short like that. And we'll give this a run and see what our preview looks like. Right, cool, that's looking pretty nice. I think I might add one more layer of motion at the very horizon for a very, very soft movement back there. We'll stop our preview. V key for our points. And let's do one click there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. A key, we'll hit the selection tool. We'll select all those points and a very tiny tug, just like that regenerate the preview, and we'll see how that motion feels. Oh, nice. You can see right in this back area here, there's now this nice little hint of motion there. We've slowed it down. And so we do have a much uh, stronger feeling of depth. We've got faster moving clouds that are close to us, slower moving clouds that are in the background. And if I pause that preview there, with the mask, we actually have that feel of motion behind the lighthouse, we've masked everything from the lighthouse. And so that motion is just sliding right behind us. So we actually have a pretty nice 3D feel to this as well. So a key takeaway is this for uh, when you're getting into, you're getting comfortable with Plotograph, just drop individual points for your animations, select several of them, and you can drag the points in a, you know, a single direction all at once and it really speeds up your workflow. Now one other thing that you may want to do with your video when you render it out, or actually before you render it out, is to add a watermark. And that's something we can do directly in Plotograph as well. If you start making some pretty interesting and more complex animations, hey, you wanna you know, market yourself a little bit. Put your watermark on there, put your logo on there. So I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna go to the file and insert logo or watermark. And I'll choose a file. I've put one on my desktop if I can find that. There we go. And there's just my basic logo, I'll say upload. All right, there we are. And this works just like you think it would. You can drag it around, you can resize it. You know, I could stick this down in the corner here. I don't wanna make it too obtrusive. And just stick that right down in the corner there. And you know, that would look pretty nice when I render it out. I could also put, you know, my website on there, or something else. You can have up to five different watermarks if you wanted to. But that's a nice little extra thing to uh, you know, give yourself a little credit for some of these great animations you're going to make.